Lonnie Miley, uh, kind of an interesting year for your rifle team. And uh, just tell us what you've done kind of with the schedule and why so. Well, this year is also, you know, the start of the Olympic tryout, you know, because we'll be trying out this season and then, um, you know, next summer in the 2020 Olympics, we're hoping to have a couple of people there. So uh, already the small board portion has started. It started the first part of October. And so we sent Peter Fiore uh, to those uh, to those matches. And after the first day, he was in second place. The top two go to the Olympics. And then after the th second day and a really strong final, he ended up in third. But, you know, that's against the top, you know, men in the country. So he's absolutely a contender, and we're going to do everything we can to get him ready. Uh, in December, the air rifle portion will start. So the first part will be in December, that first weekend. And then the second part will be in February, kind of right in the middle of where we're getting ready for the NCAAs. So I kind of stepped back a little bit from uh, a lot of NCAA matches right around that time because those are intense matches. Mm -hmm. And we could have four, possibly five shooters in the air rifle portion. And I'm hoping, you know, we have a couple again knocking on the door to make in that team. And so with the intensity of that uh, during our, our season, you know, I've kind of stepped back a little bit from the NCAA matches. We still have very quality matches. Everywhere we go, we're shooting one or two matches against the top teams in the country. So, uh, you know, we're, we'll be as prepared as we can be. But, you know, it takes a lot out of you to get ready for the Olympic Games. And we want that momentum, you know, of course, to carry through our season. But, um, you know, again, I just want to make sure everybody's got some breathing room and has a little bit of time to recover and, uh, you know, stay ready for our NCAA nationals. Yeah. It all starts with matches NCAA-wise this weekend. Yeah. So uh, you've got some tough teams coming in here with Nebraska and Kentucky and UTEP on Saturday. Then you'll shoot again against Nebraska on Sunday. What are you looking for? Uh, well, you know, we're looking for our sophomores and freshmen to kind of, you know, this is their debut. You know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of our sophomores are now in the top uh, five on the team, five or six. And so we're looking to put them in, in a counting position. So, you know, we've got, our, you know, we've got three strong returners and, and we're looking at three more, you know, who might be, this might be their first time to be, you know, counters on the team. So it's time to step up to the plate. We've been working hard. Uh, we've had... Again, you know, we're, we're kind of starting our season a little bit later, but, you know, our foundation's strong. And, you know, it's, it's kind of a, a nice time to, to have a debut and, and see where we stand and, and what we need to work on for the future. Some people would say rifle range is a rifle range, but is there an advantage to being here at home? Well, the, we're certainly used to the lighting, you know, and, you know, just the flow of the match and all of that. You know, just knowing that all of our equipment's here, mm -hmm. If anything happens, we're ready to take care of it. You know, there's just kind of a little security there. But, you know, again, we're used to the lighting and, you know, because that's, that's the one thing whenever we go to an away match, you know, we have to maybe adjust some of the things in our sights to, to get used to what that range looks like and, and what it looks like in the sights. So that, that takes a little bit. But, you know, again, we train for that and, you know, we're ready wherever we go. Final question, is your team excited to, to get this thing going? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've been training now for a couple months. So yeah. they're chomping at the bit to, to get on the line and, and, you know, compete against other schools. So it's with four schools on the line, it's going to be an intense, you know, packed facility. And, and that makes it exciting. And, and, again, we've been ready. And, you know, they're, they're really ready to, to show up and, you know, put it all out there. Perfect. Thanks, Lonnie Miley. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, thanks so much.